Welcome to Unifier TV, where truth has no fear. Okay, so we have a storyline going around, and, and I, 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 unfortunately, it may be true. In Scotland, a school has asked students, including the males, especially the males, specifically the male students, to wear skirts to school to promote gender equality. Now, let's backtrack a little bit to figure out where this came from. According to the storyline, last year in Spain, a male student wore a skirt to school. He wanted to wear a skirt. I don't know. I don't know. His parents said it was cool or he just changed clothes. I don't know what sparked this interest to wear skirts, but he decided to wear a skirt to school. Immediately, he was sent to the school psychologist. He was eventually suspended. And he was suspended and it, it caused an outrage. So his fellow male classmates decided to wear skirts to school in solidarity to support their fellow classmate. Skirt at a primary school in Edinburgh in order to promote equality. An email apparently sent to parents of pupils at Castleview Primary said the school could provide skirts to any boy who didn't have one. The initiative apparently seeks to mimic a campaign by a number of schools in Spain where students are encouraged to wear skirts as an act of solidarity apparently with a boy who was expelled for doing that, for wearing one. It's not clear why the experiment's now being attempted in Scotland. However. They're asking everyone to do it, but specifically the males, they're asking them to go ahead and wear a skirt to school to promote gender equality. Because they, in their words, clothing has no gender. Listen, it's an inanimate object, so of course it has no gender. It has no life. It doesn't breathe. It doesn't talk. So that statement that makes no sense at all. But if you want to prove a point, then why do we have boy and boy and girl sections in our clothing stores? God forbid they get rid of those. I mean, with the way things are going, they they they're probably working on getting rid of boy and girl sections in stores when it comes to clothing. Let me say this. Gender equality is a joke. Because there are things that women can do that men can't. There are things that men can do that women can't. It doesn't matter how much testosterone you shoot yourself up with, how much estrogen you shoot yourself up with. You can never be a man as a woman. You can never be a woman as a man. We are designed and built and handcrafted to do different things. Why can't we just leave it the way it is when it comes to the recognition of it, the talent within these sports? We've already come a long way in recognizing women for the talents that they have and not pushing them off in the background. Now, WNBA it has, a, it has a really long way to go. I don't think it's ever going to get there because it's really just dreadful to watch. But as far as other sports, I do believe that women have been uh, recognized more for their talents, their physical talents. There's a reason why men who identify as women compete in women's sports when they do that. If you're a man identified as a woman, why don't you, why don't you still continue to compete in men's sports? If you're talking about equality, if you're saying that, Women can do what men can do. You can identify as you want to identify, and you're trying to bridge the gap. A man identifying as a woman, but still continuing to participate in women's sports doesn't make sense. Because at that point, you're a quote-unquote woman competing with other women. How are you bridging the gap? You're saying equality. So what is this really about? If you're a man and you're not strong enough to keep up with the other dudes, then lift more weights or just quit. But say you want to identify as a woman and they can and then you want to go compete with the women instead of sticking in the bracket that you are as a woman. It doesn't make sense to me. And if you're a woman wanting to be a man, why are you participating in women's sports? If you're a girl want to be a boy, you shoot yourself up with all this testosterone, but you're still competing against other girls. That doesn't make sense. If you're saying you could do what a man can, then go ahead and go ahead and roll with the boys. Go ahead and go ahead and get on the wrestling mat with the dude. See if you win that. Go ahead and get on the football field with the dude. See if you win that. If you're really all about what you say, then go ahead and see what happens. Go ahead and get on the field with a dude on the football field. Go ahead and get on that basketball court. Go ahead and get on that wrestling mat. The same thing for you guys. If you think you compete compete with a woman, go ahead and go get on the on the balance beam and see what happens if you fall. It could hurt either way, but it it, it will remind you of who, who you are. Real fast, genders, men and women, because there's only two, are not equal. The genders are not equal as it is. So why do we continue to try to push this idea that we can be or we should be or there's a way to be? 
We're not built to be equals. We're built to balance each other out. If you're on a a seesaw and all the weight is on one side, what fun is it? What good is it? How effective is it going to be? You need two sides to balance it out, up and down, or you can go straight. No pun intended. My point is that it doesn't make sense. If this is all about being who you are, being comfortable in your own skin, then show a man how a man's supposed to be. Show a woman how a woman's supposed to be as opposed to saying you don't like who you are, go ahead and change it. That's not being comfortable in your own skin at all. So it's actually very much hypocritical. You people that continue to push, be comfortable, be who you are, if you're trying to change your gender because you're unsatisfied with whatever aspect in your life you're coming up short in. If you're all about being who you are, teach people how to have more confidence as who they are and not who they want to be or pretend to be. This whole gender equality thing is destroying the family, is demonic, is dark, and it goes exactly against what the Bible teaches us. And if there's one major thing that is behind the scenes cutting down on the population, it's the homosexual agenda. It's this gender equality crap. Because it's never going to work. It's not even true. And you guys aren't even people of your word because, it, it, it like I said, if you want to identify as one thing, continue to compete in that realm that you want the equality in. Don't jump over to the other side because that's who you say you are. For all you people that continue to push this idea that, okay, God loves all his children. You can't judge. Yes. Yeah. He loves all his children. And if you want your child to be homosexual, that's your business. But you can't expect everyone to be on the same side that you're on and believe what you believe, because just as much as you guys have a right to live your life as you want to live, we have a right to live straight. We have a right to want our children to be straight. We have a right to not want a male to go into a women's bathroom, put on a skirt just because he wants to be a woman today. And in reality, all he wants to do is look at young parts. It's happened way too many times. And it's never going to stop unless we stop trying to make both sides equal. Because it's not meant to be that way and it shouldn't be that way. Respect each other's side, yes, but don't try to do what the other side can do because it's not built to be that way.